on those planes, each plane, 1,500 of them, had three bombs. The wheel has two natures. When those bombs are cut loose, when they hit the earth, there's a drill. It'll go down into the earth one mile and bring up a mountain one mile high, destroying everything in a 50 square mile radius. Those planes know everything about your military installations. You've caught them over all the military installations, not only here, but in England, in France, in Germany, in Russia, in China, in India. You want to know where they come from. You want to you, you wanna give the credit to somebody from outer space? Hell no. <laughs> there ain't no outer space. You are a baby, white folks. In your knowledge, listen, of science, we only gave you one book of higher mathematics. And you've built a great world. But there are 59,999 more. So that's why your scientists said they are faster than our technology by a million years. They're made from here. The finest steel. Oh, man. They fly at speed. They clocked them at 9,000 and more. Those people are the angels. They're up there. They know what you think. And before you can execute, they know it. These are the people from God. Now, they ask, why is the government keeping it a secret? They kept asking that over and over this morning. Well, let me tell you. L. Ron Hubbard, in his book on radiation, said, whenever there's a weapon that a nation has no defense against, that nation's sovereignty is threatened because it is the duty of every nation to protect its citizens. So when America developed the hydrogen bomb, the atom bomb, and this high technology weaponry, and Russia did, both of them made all the smaller nations feel frightened. And so each of them had a camp Russian in the camp of Russia, in the camp of America, right? That weapon it is so powerful the angels on that human built planet know how to make a wall out of air. And that's why the Bible said, Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. They can wall in America where you can't come in or go out and cut a shortage in gravity and start a fire coming all the way down. Look, You've been talking about fire next time? Well, hey, then. you didn't think that God was true to his own word? These people have no weapon to fight God? None, sir. None! None. There's sound on that wheel that can cause buildings to come down. That wheel has been up there since 1929 and it has bothered nobody. There's another part to that wheel. The New Jerusalem. 
a toxic planet with toxic air, toxic water, toxic earth. Up there, everything we got down here, they got it up there, but it's perfectly pure. And the wisdom to purify the planet is there. To heal all disease is there. Now, I'm very public with you about my condition. Most leaders don't want to talk about what they've been through. Now, you all know all about my illness because I told it all. Well, now, I'm going to say this and go. What did Paul mean? I have kept the faith. I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. And now is laid up for me a crown of righteousness and I go. That that great judge of righteousness will give that crown. And it's not only for me, but it's for us who love his appearance. I came here tonight to tell you that that one more thing that I had to do, I started the process of doing it today. They'll be angry with me and I will be betrayed into their hands. And some of you Muslims that think I'm trying to set something up that don't have to happen, you're not going to make the prophets lie. Somebody got to fulfill it. See, Jesus was a good man, but they charged him with blasphemy, and then they charged him with sedition. Right. I'm ready to do whatever God has for me to do. And the United States government, you can do whatever you want to do with me. And don't spare me. Come at me with all your power. And I want to prove to you that I am with God and God is with me. And there is nothing that you can do to me except what pleases God. I'm on my way to my Father. But I will return. There ain't no death for me. Not now. I'm going to get the next lesson. But while I'm gone, war, revolution, bloodshed. Allah will never reveal the new wisdom while the wicked have power. So when you hear that the minister is gone and some of you will see me, go. They said they saw him go up in a cloud. And then he'll come back in like manner. When you see me again, I'll be a brand new man. When you see me again, I can show you my sides that have been pierced. Where they took my organs, doctors, who thought they would get rid of me. But I'm alive. And when you see me again, you'll know that I've been in the presence of God. And that's where you're going. You are God's people. You can decide whether you want to do righteousness or whether you want to stay in the condition that you're in. But I'm telling you, when I finish this lecture today, God is 
gonna answer what I said. You'll see the wheels over the major cities and the chastisement is gonna increase and there will be earthquakes in America like you saw in Haiti, like you saw in Chile, like there was in Japan. You're gonna have to learn emergency management. You don't know how to protect your life. You don't know what to do when disaster strikes. If Haiti had been more prepared, lives could have been saved. Your day and mine here is coming. Now I say to our president, just watch. And if God answers me, and he will, he's answering me so that you can submit. Your people are suffering. You can't ease their plight, but you can use your bully pulpit. Speak. Speak. Speak for the poor. Yes. Yes. Speak for the weak. Yes. Speak for those, the working class that is being crushed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you can speak for the gays, you can speak for any one of us. The white people that voted for you, they're not going to turn you down because you spoke up for the least of these. Come on, Minister. You can do it. And by the way, Mr. President, I know Mr. Buchanan said they spent $40 trillion on Negroes and they haven't produced no results. You're right, Mr. Buchanan. But see, you never spent it helping the rightly guided, civilized man. If you want to ease up what's happening in America, help me. I know you've helped Israel for 60 years, no results. Because the real children of Israel, here they are. Here they are. The Christian right, you got it wrong. You want to help Israel? I ask you to look at the horror of the trans transatlantic slave trade. I ask you to look at what we've done. We've fought, we've bled, we've died for this country. And if you would turn back some of our tax dollars, Trouble asset relief program for us. You can't talk about reparations, but we can't stop talking about it. Put some money in back of us. Look at the product we produce. We can reform our people. We can civilize our people. We can go into the prisons and change them up. And in helping Susan Taylor and mentoring programs, we can make a better people, but we need help. Now it's your turn. Ease your headache. But if not, keep your eye on the weather. 